Welcome to another video from Preact. Um, today's video is around Dataverse search. Um, Dataverse is, is a way of managing and securing your data across multiple business applications, including Dynamics and Outlook. Um, these new features we can turn on for all of your Dynamics apps and any model-driven apps you guys are currently using. And um, what does it actually do? Well, it, it quickly delivers you comprehensive search results across multiple tables on the Dataverse and it compiles those results into a single list view for you to you know, do what you need to do with based on the query that you guys type. Um, the benefits to name but a few are you know, AI for, for typos, uh, acronyms and abbreviations, and natural language queries we can run as well. So let me just show you how we, how we enable this and we can turn on the indexing for this. So you can see I've just gone into admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com um, and you click on your environments, click into the environment that you want to enable this on, click on settings, expand the products area, click on features. So it's actually a feature that we're turning on. On the right hand side, once this loads, you can see the option here is to turn on Dataverse search. So by default, this is turned off. We just turn it on in here and then that will enable it. It'll take about 15 minutes, I think, to render and, and, and appear in all your apps. But as soon as you've turned this on for this environment, it should then be um, working for you. Um, the other thing we can do as well, you can share anonymized search analytics with Microsoft. This again is turned off by default. But if we turn this on, it's basically helping Microsoft um, train the natural language uh, machine learning models that they're using for queries. So it can basically turn, return better results we're just sharing our results with these guys and then it just means that it's staying pretty stable and you know it's improving down the line. Um, so once you've turned these on, the other thing you need to consider as well is, is making sure that you've got your table set up for the indexing. So again, you go into uh, make.powerapps.com, find uh, your solution. I've just created one here called database search. Go into your solution. You already have a list of all your tables, I should imagine. I've just got 26 tables in this one. And then you can see if you click on overview, you've got the ability to click manage search index over here or up here in the ribbon. Um, you can see when you click on this, you can just go through then and out of those 26 tables, you can see I've got 13 that I've selected. So half of these I've turned them on to be indexed. You can see when you click on this account, seven columns have been added to the index. And this is based on the search um, fields you've got set up on your quick find views. Um, so make sure these are all turned on and then providing they're turned on you can see it's enabled for each of these tables that you're going to be basically searching on. Um, so those are the two sort of prerequisites that you need to do to make sure it's working. Once you've done this, um, this should now be working in your environments. So you can see um, we've got the Dataverse search, you know, the big universal search bar, Dataverse searcher at the top here. Um, how it used to be for categorized search. And first thing you'll see is when you click into this, it will show you as soon as you click into it, all your last recently searched for queries um, and any recently viewed items. So over here, you can see all those people that you've, you've been working with. They also appear in here. You've got a couple of these quick actions. You can see a sign, share, and email a link on here as well. Um, and if you start then typing a value, so if I start typing dynamics, for example, as you're typing, it's gonna start giving you these suggestions. You can then click into each one of these if you need to, or again, use these quick actions, or you can push enter or click show more results. If I click show more results, it will then bring back all of these, these values. So you can see top results. It's gonna break this down and I can see all of these things in one place. So I can see accounts, there's two accounts in here. I can click show more. I can see there's a few opportunities again, show more if it's, if it's you know, you know uh, collapsed, for example, you can then expand it and see more. You can see how it categorizes all these into sort of one area. Um, but then it's broken these down into all of the different tables at the top here. So I can see I've got two accounts, which are these two. You can see here that says two. If I click into that, I've got these. You've got these quick actions in here as well. Click on opportunities. You can see there's three opportunities. We know that because it says three here. And we've got these quick actions. One thing we can also then see over here on the filters, it's because I'm on opportunities, I've got the ability to filter this by revenue, by, so we've got facets and filters on the right hand side and that's specific to the tables. So because we're looking at opportunities, and we've got estimated revenue in here, um, estimated close date, you can see we could quite easily run a filter and you know, if I change this to say um, 1800, 
and then I search on that you can see we've now gone down to two of these as opposed to the three that was originally in here we can then clear this off and you can see it brings back one more of these so these filters again you can see if I click on accounts would be very different so the facets and filters you see are, are specific to each table so really useful um, you should be able to a couple of clicks of a button you should be able to get and find what you're looking for quite quick and easy a couple of other things they've then also done um, is uh, there's a few other things we can do so the first one of these is boosted search results so if I was to type say Sandra first for example I know I've got a lady called Sandra McKenzie and she works with first up consultants but if I type that value and I push enter you're basically just saying you know Sandra first and you can see here it's pulling first from the accounts table and it's pulling Sandra from the contacts table and it's matching these two to say okay we believe this might be this this contact Clearly, Sandra at First Up Consultants has probably got a case as well and a few open opportunities, which is why these have been returned as well, because it's probably using the parent or potential customer fields. Um, but it's basically just saying this: these are the values. So that's boosted search results. Um, we've got natural language understanding as well. So if I was to put open phone calls, for example, again, push enter. This is almost like you type in saying, show me all open phone calls. You can see under the top results you can see the activity status is open and obviously you can see the different quick actions you can quickly mark these as complete or you can cancel them as well again you can go open that up set regard assign an email a link to somebody else if you need to um, but it's going to show you all open phone calls and these are all of your open phone calls the same thing you'd get if you were to click on activities and click on all open phone call system view um, but also you can then see if i click on the phone calls if i click on opportunities Again, there will be open phone calls against some of these regarding these opportunities. So again, I think the natural language understanding is really is really pretty cool as well. Um, you could use a spelling correction. So if I try and type William and I spell it Willim, for example, and I push enter, you can see William, but it knows that we're trying to type William, for example, here. So you can see William, William, William. And this is where you know it, it's finding the misspellings and, and it's putting a few of those corrections in it's understood what we're trying to do and it's returning these key results for us we've also got the ability to do um, acronyms and abbreviations so if i was to say type the value bob we all know bob is short for robert for example you can see it will return all my results for bob's and you can see here there's one here for opal roberts roland roberts so it knows the abbreviation of Bob is 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 Robert. Space is Robert. You know. So again, really quite useful. I think the abbreviations is pretty cool. Um, we've got the um, the power of common knowledge. So if I was to say um, I don't know uh, leads created last week, you're basically asking it a query, and it will then return results to say these are all the leads that got created last week. And you can see there's five leads that got created last week. Um, obviously some of these must have been qualified or whatever. Um, and that's why there was some contacts in there. But you can see these leads got created last week. Another good one might be um, accounts in Edinburgh, for example. Again, I know full well that I've got the city field enabled um on the uh, accounts table under the search criteria so that's returning all results for edinburgh and you can then see top results so these are all accounts that are in edinburgh nothing else is pulling in here again you can see up here the the appointments and the emails and the cases again it would have just found some keywords in there so there's probably an email to say account in edinburgh or something along those lines but it's, again it's quite cool you're asking the you're asking it to go and query some data that you're basically inputting in here um, and this is one of the, the more powerful ones we've now got is the Boolean operators. So what we can do, we, I could say, um, I know I've got a, a lady called Pamela and she works at a company called um, Melrose Surgery, right? So I can go Melrose, so pa Pamela plus Melrose, right? So the plus sign is basically the Boolean for and. So I'm saying Pamela and Melrose, very similar to how you do your advanced finds, and it's returning Pamela Griggs, who we know works at Melrose Surgery. Now, if I change this and I use the, the vertical you know, bar and I went like this, this is an or query. 
So we can replace the, the all query in advance find with the vertical bar like so, and it's going to now say find Pamela or Melrose. And it can see now it's showing me there's a Melrose there. So we've got Michael, he works at Melrose. We can see there's an account called Melrose Surgery. We know that. And we've got Pamela here who we know works at Melrose, but it's now returning Pam again, you know, abbreviated uh, variation of that. And then all the other Pamelas we've got in the system. And then the last Boolean we can use is the, if we put a minus sign just in front of the second one, you can then see it will say, show me all Pamela's, but exclude anything with Melrose. So now our Pamela Griggs that works at Melrose Surgery isn't being returned because we're saying only find Pamela and exclude any Pamela's that have a link to Melrose. So I personally think that the plus sign for the and, the vertical bar for the or, and the minus sign, which is an exclusion. This is a really powerful feature. Um, again, it's as simple as just typing what you're looking for and putting those abbreviated versions in here. And the last, the last thing we can do is, is you know, the wildcard search. The wildcard search was always here previous. You know, categorized searches in Dynamics and whatever else. Um, but we can now just do a wildcard search. You can put a, an, an asterisk at the beginning or at the end. You know and search for this and then it returns all results looking for you know wherever the word win is contained basically so we've got Irwin down here we've got goodwin darwin you know it's how you used to search um, that is still a thing and you can still use that within here and again i'll just show you that if i was to put that at the end you can see you know trailing asterisks most likely be the same results but yeah so you can see so the where there's there's a value coming after the word win you can see we've got a few different versions in here so winterton as opposed to you know the word being the beginning and if you wanted to do that and put an asterisk at the beginning and an asterisk at the end then you'll have a combined version of those so you can see winery winston over here hopefully you enjoyed you know seeing some of these features and how powerful they can be using the dataverse search um, if you did like the video please feel free to get in touch with us if you have any other questions regarding dataverse searches or anything else please like this video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to the preact youtube channel if you want to see more videos about dynamics 365 and the power platform in the future